Hi, this is Matt Coddington with My Mobile Bill, and we're going to take a look at a very cool app for Android that's called Cam Scanner. Basically, this is an app that allows for you to digitize documents, make them into PDFs, be it if you're going to scan in receipts, bills, uh, a newspaper article, maybe it's a whiteboard, um, anything like that that you want to make into a PDF, and then be it either share via email, upload to the cloud, to Dropbox, BoxNet. Uh, I usually scan things and scan them into Evernote, but it's very handy. The free version uh, is a great way for you to be able to try it out and see how it works, but they put watermarks onto PDFs and there's a limited amount of uh, documents that you can create and there's ads as well. For $4.99 you get the pro version which is what I'm showing here so there are no ads, no limitations, and there's no watermarks on any PDFs. So obviously if you just wanted to snap a picture and put it up to Evernote or share it with somebody you could just use your camera, take a picture, it's a JPEG and you send it on its way. But where it's really handy is if you do need to make multiple page items, etc. for PDFs. But I'll just show here, I'll do an example of a receipt. So I'm just going to scan in the receipt and I'm going to tap on for a new document here. And I'm using my Galaxy Tab so that you can see the screen a little bit better than my phone. And what I've got to do as well, I can't necessarily see in this shot, but I've got to kind of tilt my device a little bit because the light from the room is being blocked from my device, but that's okay because it's going to actually straighten out the picture. So I snap a picture of the receipt, I say OK, and now it's ready to process. Now I can go ahead and rotate this picture, and then I'm going to grab a hold of the little sizing handles here and crop this image around the receipt a little better. All right, And then it also has enhanced mode, so you can turn off enhanced mode if you want. Right now I've got it in high enhanced mode. So it's going to crop the image, straighten it out, and enhance it. Now it looks a little blurry there because really it's zoomed up. Once I am happy with this and I could revert my changes, then I say OK. Now it is saved. Now if I tap on it and open it up, you'll see it's very crisp, very clear, and this is now um, ready for me to, I could share it, I could upload it, I could even edit it more if I needed to. So when I go back to my thumbnails of the scans that I've made, this is now made into a PDF and I can choose to upload it and it's got Google Docs, BoxNet, or Dropbox by uh, default in the application or, I meant to press and hold, that I can share which is usually what I do and I'll create a note using Evernote or you can upload to some of the other areas, share it via email. So here's another example, I can scan in a newspaper article here of Edward Lee who's going to be on Top Chef from Louisville which is pretty cool. I snap the shot, I say OK, and now it's interesting, it, it tried to find and it cropped around his picture, so it was pretty cool, it tried to be smart there, but I'm just going to resize this on out so that I get the entire bit of the article, and then I say OK, it's going to enhance it, and then I'll show you again that when I would open this up this way, then there is the scanned in article. I mean it looks really nice. And in a moment I'll show using my phone making a multi-page document into a PDF which is very handy. I use it to do manuals and instruction books and try to trim down how much stuff I've got in my filing cabinets because then you can take a multi-page document, convert it into a PDF, upload it or whatever your need might be. Alright so here I have a manual for this Liberty Pump and it's a pretty thick one because it comes in about three different languages so there's not really that many pages needed for it but what I'm going to do is take and convert this into a PDF. Now if this were available online the first thing that I would do is just grab the PDF of a manual that I could put it into Evernote and then take this and just recycle this big thick thing rather than have filing cabinets full of all sorts of manuals and instruction books that I could otherwise have digital. But we'll pretend that we could not get a PDF of it, so I'm going to use Cam Scanner and I'm going to click on this icon here. So I'm going to start with a new document. Now, there's a little switch here where it's single picture or multiple. So I'm going to flick it down to multiple because I have numerous pages to take of this document. And then, you're not going to see that very well here while I go ahead and get myself centered on this picture. All right, so I've snipped page one. I don't really need page two there. Um, yeah, here's some general information. Again, sometimes I look at some of these pages and think, boy, will I ever even need that information? But there's page two. 
course my page number is going to be a little off, but that doesn't matter. I'm just meaning how many snaps I'm taking here. Next one. <clears throat> and this next shot. I think that's about it. Nope, got a couple more. And some warranty information. Yep, that's it. Okay, so now I tap done. And I've basically now got this multi-page PDF. Well, it's not PDF yet, but I've got the pages. Now if I want, I can go into these and I could crop and edit them if I need to. So then I can take and rotate this picture around. And if there's some cropping I needed to do, then I can go ahead and grab a hold of these little handles and adjust it. And it's also going to enhance the image. So now it's cropping it on up here, enhancing it as well. And I say, okay. And so I can likewise do that with each of the pages. Now, I can also, if I need, I can rearrange these if they were out of page order and I wanted to arrange what page order they were. Otherwise, then when I go back, it's now created a PDF and it's up here. It's titled New Document, so I could go ahead and rename it and I'll just call it the Liberty Pump. And so you can go to a list view if you wanted to be able to see your items in list view and then otherwise this is more of a thumbnail view. And if I tap the little pencil icon, you can see this is for it to be able to upload. So then, well, it wants me to select a document. So let me say like the pump. And if I set, say upload, then there's the choices for those upload options. Otherwise, it's interesting. They've got the mail icon, but then it's really share. So you can see it brings up the share menu and what place you might want to actually do it there. If you did want to actually combine together a couple of different separate uh, scans that you had done, then you can choose two different items and tap that icon there and it'll merge them together. And you can also create tags so that if you were to be keeping everything inside of Cam Scanner, then you could be looking things up with tags. But what basically what I end up doing is uh, taking everything and scanning it and putting it on up to Evernote. A couple other nice features about Cam Scanner is that you don't necessarily have to just rely on taking a picture that you could use. You could create a new document using pictures that you have on your device. So I'm just going to show as an example, I'll go on in and I'm just going to choose this picture that was from a download. It allows you again to crop it, enhance it. So I'm going to say no enhance on this. I just want to leave that picture as it is. And I'm going to say okay. All right. And as you can see that I'm in the document now that I've created and I can do the things like sharing and save this now as a PDF and be complete or that I could now take the camera and say, all right, now I want to take a picture and I'm going to add, and I'll just put something here in the screen for me to shoot my glasses case. I now snap the picture and I'll rotate it, crop it. I say no enhance. And now I've added this as well. So you can see I'm making a PDF, not just of be it text and whatnot, but I'm actually just adding. Now I've got the picture of the earth that I inserted and the hairs. And same thing, I could go on back and choose other images if I felt like doing. I take that picture, add it on in. And now I save that as a PDF. It's a three page, you can see the little three up in the corner. It is a three, three page PDF. I go to view this in a PDF format, and there are the pages to the PDF. So a lot of very nice features to Cam Scanner. So I encourage you to check it out. Like I said, there's a free version, and if you do like it, the pro version is $4.99 in the Android market. This is Matt Coddington with MyMobileville. Have a great day.